Hi, we just finished meeting for pronunciation practice on Monday, December 12th. And we started with wrapping paper. Wrapping paper. Wrapping paper. Ding a ling. The ding and the ling both have the ng high, where your tongue is high in the back, touching the top of the mouth. Ding a ling. King, another ing ing, where the back of the tongue goes very high, touches king, and don't release it and have a g king. Just hold it, king. Kin, this means family, and the vowel is i, like it. Your tongue should be lower than number six, which is keen, very high e. Kin, keen. Soul food. Soul food. You don't have to release that D. I should put that little mark there to say hold your tongue in the D position so you don't say food. Duh. Just hold it. Food. Big five food. This is um, something in particular somebody was asking about, so you don't need to learn this expression. <laughs> but the five food is interesting because you don't need to have a good V because there's an F after it. You can make the V but without voicing and that changes it to an F. So you really don't hear a V at all. Five food. Five food. That's it. Quintessential. Quintessential. Soul. Whether it's this kind of soul, like bless your soul, or soul Korea, Americans pronounce these exactly the same. Soul. This is Latin, so it's doesn't need to, you don't need it. <laughs> I've never used it, but we looked it up and it is notabini, notabini. Thrash. This THR combination can be tricky. So if your tongue touches the top of your mouth and you hear thr, thrash, that means you need to pull your tongue down before you curl your tongue back. Thr, thrash, thrash. And we have another one coming up after leopard. It looks like Leo, but we don't pronounce it that way. It's just le, leopard. Pet peeve. We don't release the T, pet. Just hold it. Pet peeve. This is a small annoyance. I guess I should... Uh, small annoyance. Not a big deal. Hearing people chew is a pet peeve of mine. Through. Here's another T H R practice. So through, through. These sound exactly the same. Garbage, garbage. Popcorn, popcorn. We practice saying corn because if you go too quickly, corn, you won't hear the R sound. So hold it in the R position for a longer duration than you think you need to so the R can be heard. Pop, I'm making a K, corn. <laughs> and then it goes to the in position. Corn, orn, so that you can hear the R. Corn on the cob, corn on the cob. Allege, allege. Mexican street corn, Mexican street corn. Luge. Zh, and we practice some words with the zh sound. It's the same as shh, like be quiet, but with voicing. So if you have trouble finding the position for zh, then make shh, keep everything the same, keep your tongue in the same position, keep pushing air, but use voicing, use sound in your throat. Shh, luge, do. Both of these spellings have the same sound, just do. Rouge. This is another zh sound. Rouge. The same sound in usual. Usual. Need the dough. Need, like, <laughs> like this for making dough, is the same as need. I need you to do this. Need the dough. Door. So the same as corn. Hold your tongue in the R position, door, door. Keep making er noise so that the R can be heard. And that'll make it 
sound different than do. <laughs> door. Door. I think that's it. Uh, we spent more time on practicing these very difficult, detailed sounds. So thanks, and I hope you can join us uh, another time. Have a good night.